The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it's sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. The themes and the readings and even the psalm today are about fruit. Planting something, it growing, bearing fruit. And, and the, the story is about you and me. The Old Testament is so beautiful. I will take from the crest of the cedar, the top of the cedar, From its topmost branches, tear off a tender shoot and plant it high and lofty mountains so that it will grow and bear fruit. He's talking about you and I. You and I, created by God. Male and female were created. We're representing that today. Male and female who are celebrating their 50th anniversary of their wedding. He created us to go into the world to be fruitful. To be fruitful. Like the mustard seed, the smallest of seeds, but when it grows, the birds can come and light there, and it bears fruit. So the question is, how are we in our fruit bearing? That's really what this comes down to. Are we bearing fruit that gives life, that 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 brings nourishment to the world. That is an example of God's love. Or is the fruit that we bear look like something else? You know, I think of this this example of taking from the crest of the tree and planting in the high. We are human beings, the top of the food chain. God gave us, in his creation of us, the ability to ponder, the ability to reflect. He gave us free will so we can make our own choices, but he gave us all those things. Why? It's different than anything else in the world. There are animals that do many things similar to us, but they are not us. They are not humans. He created us. And yet the evil one wants us to think that we're at the bottom of the food chain. That we're the ones that we submit to everything in the world around us. And that we should only desire the things that, that give us pleasure. That maybe momentarily give us something good, but in the real sense of life, it's not good. The world distracts us 
things like the news and social media and, and all the things going on out there want us only to think of ourselves and not the fruit we are bearing in the world. In the second reading, brothers and sisters, we are always courageous. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous. That's what the world is asking of us. To be courageous. To live the life that God has created us to be. To bear the fruit that is good for the world. Good for our families. Good for our places of business. Good for our friends. Good for the church. And in a special way today, Vanessa, who's going to be confirmed, sealed in the Holy Spirit, is going to receive, in a way, Vanessa, that extra courage, right? Because uh, one of the ways we, we talk about someone who is confirmed is we become soldiers of Christ. That's what the Holy Spirit does for us. Gives us the strength because we're temples of the Holy Spirit. To be courageous in a world that isn't looking for courage. They're looking for conformity. They're looking for someone who doesn't stand out. They want everything to be the same. But God created each one of us individually to bear the fruit that we are to bear. My fruit looks different than yours. Your fruit looks different than yours. Why? Because we're unique, one of a kind, creations of the Most High King. Why are we here today in this place at St. John's in Bartlesville Catholic Church? We're here to come together both as community and individually to worship our God, to hear from Scripture, and ultimately to come forward and like Vanessa will do for the first time to receive his body and blood in the Eucharist that gives us strength for this journey. It gives us the wherewithal to be courageous in this world. And it's unique today in the, in the world it's Father's Day. Listen, there is such a beautiful understanding of Father Thank you, fathers. Thank you, grandfathers, for your being courageous in this world today and being here at Mass. Thank you for 50 years of marriage to your wife. That's a beautiful example. And there's others here. A, a, a few weeks ago, I see Roland and Marge back there. They celebrate, I think, 73 years of marriage. That's courage. That's courage, buddy. <laughs> That's the examples of fruit that the world needs to see. That's what God is calling us to. That's why he gave us the church and the sacraments. And just like in a garden, right? You that have green thumbs, I do not. You that have green thumbs, if you're growing something, what do you do? There's weeds, you pull them out, right? You get rid of the weeds because you want that soil to be rich for the thing that's supposed to be growing there. Guess what God did for us through His Son? He sent us the sacrament of reconciliation. So when we get that weed of sin or temptation in our heart, that brokenness, we can go in the confessional and we can get that pulled out of our garden so we can be fruitful. These are, these are yes, they're, they're um, examples, as, as Jesus said, the parables he gives. But they're parables about real life and the reality of who we are as Christian brothers and sisters. It is about fruit. The fruit that we bear through how we live our lives. How we respond to the love that God has shown us through creating us, through giving us each other, 
through planting us in all the families, in all the different places that we've been planted. We just happen to be in Bartlesville today. There are people that live many different places, people that have been born many different places. But for today, June 16th, 2024, we got fruit today. Part of the fruit is Vanessa. Part of the fruit is Patty and Dave. Part of the fruit are those other young people that this weekend, we had four baptisms here. This is the second 50th anniversary celebration we had. We had a quinceanera yesterday. This is an active place of God's fruit being shown in this community. That's beautiful. Somebody, we talked to Vincent, our seminarian, he's over at St. James today. And I was doing my first day with him. Okay, Father, what are we doing this week? And I started giving my schedule to him. And his eyes got bigger and bigger as I was going. He said, Father. I said, welcome to the priesthood. That's my fruit. I get to be the gardener sometimes. I get to be the one sowing that I take the sickle out. I got to have two of those baptisms were mine yesterday. Two of the cutest little ones and just a week ago, a couple more. This is the fruit. This is what we're to be doing. As we continue in this celebration, and this multifaceted celebration that we have today for fathers, for Vanessa, for the Pavliches, just for our community. Let us give thanks that God loves us so much that he planted us in this place right now. And then ask him for the courage to be the one that can bring good fruit into our families, into our places of work into our circle of friends, into our community, into our church.